first method is the wraparound, where in this case, you want to wrap around on both sides of the hinge. All right? The easiest way to work around the hinge is put a little masking tape on. It's going to let the material glide nice and easy around the hinge, because some materials, especially if they're aggressive, will grab this quite aggressively. And then what you want to do is, let's say, you can do this with the backing paper on, or sometimes it's just easier, especially when you get a hinge like this, to do it on the fly. As you're working from the top down, and again, what I'm going to show you with the water-soluble pen here is I'm going to mark the top of the hinge and the bottom of the hinge. And because you're working from the top down, if you make your relief cut, if you cut this out directly at the bottom of the hinge, you're going to come up long. So what you want to do is you want to cut about a quarter inch or a centimeter above the base of this hinge. Really critical here. If you So you always want to try to cut the horizontal pieces first because they're the ones who want to run the most. So you cut it here at the base and again cut it about a quarter inch above the bottom. And then you cut the sides and you angle your blade in towards the hinge. So you give yourself a little extra material so you don't come up short on the sides and you also don't want to come up short at the top. So now you got that going, you release the material and you want to kind of tuck it into this groove at the top and once you kind of got it around that groove then you want to focus on the hinge. Again that groove at the top was a slight recessed area, you take care of that. And now you bridge the film around so you kind of release it around the base there stretch it a little bit and then it goes back to its position. And then you want to pull to the left at a 45 degree angle and pull to the right at a 45 degree angle so the material doesn't bunch at the base. As long as you pull it correctly, see look at that glass. That relief cut makes it really easy now to simply just glide around that hinge there. No wrinkles, no fuss. Again, you're never going to bridge it over this hinge and then try to work the material in. By making that relief cut and making it correctly, look how easily the film flows around that hinge. Nice and critical there. And then you remove the masking tape. You, I would highly recommend never to wrap that hinge. It's always really tricky. gets a lot of abuse. But again, look how easy it is. And then you just clean everything up by cutting on the empty side. And then if you're lucky, you know, on certain types of, the set of this hinge here, is to say you're wrapping the emblem here and you're wrapping just the door. And you're leaving the side section for later. Okay? So you want to, you know, this is an example of kind of how to approach the solid emblem as well, but the main focus right now is on that hinge. And again, let's say you're ra just wrapping the door and you're working from the top down. Take advantage of the fact that you're not wrapping anything to the left of the hinge. So what you're going to do is you're going to work the material down to the top section of the hinge there, and then you tuck it in nice and clean. Never force it or bridge it, but you're going to tuck it into the top corner there, take your knife and make a relief cut out. And by making the relief cut out there, and you make it short enough so that when it swings around here, it doesn't come long. But now look how easily it wraps around the base there. And I'm going to work around the hinge on this side, and the emblem. But again, by picking the material up, it just glides around the top of the hinge there. And then you tuck it, for example, into the front side of the hinge, facing the inside portion of the door. And then from the base of the hinge, you make another relief cut. And you cut it there, right on the base, so you can come back and clean that up later. But look how easily, by making the relief cuts away towards the section that you're not wrapping, take advantage of seen in sections. Don't try to wrap that in one piece if, you're, if you have that excess side as your outlet. Take advantage of that, make your relief cuts out there, and then you can easily swing around the hinge. And this is true on almost any section of the Ford cargo van if you're wrapping it in sections, especially if you're changing the color. Take advantage of wrapping each section separately so you can work around these hinges just like that. Super clever, no tension, and again, it's just taking advantage of what you got. Can you do this all the time? No. But in this case, you could, so you take advantage of it. If you have to wrap both sides, then you do the first approach by using the relief cut with the masking tape and then work around nice and even. Thanks for watching. I'm Justin Payne.